Hello, and welcome to the Ohio Department of Taxation's Information Guide series. Today we will be discussing Notice ID 7001, the School District Tax Non-Remittance Billing Notice. The notice presented here may look slightly different from the one you received in the mail, but the information provided on the notice is the same. If you have received a School District Tax Non-Remittance Billing Notice, it is because we do not show your taxes as paid in full for the above year. As you open the letter, it will say in the top center of the page the tax year, the type of tax, and that it is a non-remittance billing notice. As you move down the page on the left-hand side, you will see your name and address and the notice ID number. On the right-hand side, you will see the date of the letter, the last four digits of your Social Security number, a batch number, and the form used to file your return. In the upper right-hand corner is the contact information for the Ohio Department of Taxation, including our address, fax number, a toll-free phone number, and our website. Below this information is a statement that advises that we have not received full payment of your state school district tax. Next on your letter is a statement that tells when the payment was originally due and explains that interest and penalties are calculated on the billing notice. Beneath this statement, you have a breakdown of the billing notice. This includes the original tax due amount, any partial payments that were applied, the interest, a late payment penalty, and, if applicable, a late filing penalty. The total amount due and the due date are in the bottom row of the table. Next, your non-remittance billing notice explains how to respond if you have already submitted a payment. If you have already made a partial or full payment that is not reflected on the notice, you will need to submit a copy of the front and back of the canceled check or money order, or supply the electronic payment confirmation number. An electronic confirmation number will be either a 6 or 15 digit number, depending on how you made the payment. The number will be 15 digits for credit card payments or 6 digits for ACH debit payments. Please keep in mind there will be a separate confirmation number for the filing of the return and for your payment. Please make sure that the confirmation number you send to us is for your payment. If you have not made your payment, the notice provides information on different ways that you can do so. You may make payments through our website at tax.ohio.gov using an electronic check or credit card. You may also make payments using the official payments toll-free number 1-800-272-9829 or on their website at officialpayments.com. If you are mailing a check or money order, the address is provided on the right side of the box and a payment voucher is included at the bottom of the first page of your bill. The Ohio Department of Taxation is not authorized to set up a formal payment plan. The next section of the notice includes an area where you can write your phone number and email address in case the Department of Taxation has follow-up questions regarding the information that you submit. Immediately below, you will see that you are required to respond within 20 days from the date of the letter. Failing to respond within this time may lead to an assessment, which will include tax, interest, and penalties. At the bottom of the first page of the notice is a payment voucher. If you are sending a check or money order, please include this payment voucher. If you are going to make a partial payment or partial payments, you can make copies of the payment voucher and send in each check or money order with a copy of the voucher until you completely pay the bill or receive an assessment notice. If you do receive an assessment notice, it will include a new payment voucher for you to use and you should discontinue using the voucher from this billing. Never use the wrong voucher as the digits along the bottom are used in posting payments. On the voucher, you will find your name and the last four digits of your social security number on the left side. On the right side, you will find the amount currently owed, the reporting period, and a place for you to write the amount of the payment you are submitting. On the left, again, we have the address of where to send your payment. If you are making a partial payment, you will not receive a new payment voucher from us until you are assessed. Moving to the back of the first page, there are detailed instructions on how to use official payments. 
Making a payment over the phone prompts you to select state taxes, asks for the jurisdiction code, which is 6446 for Ohio, and then follow the additional instructions for selecting the billing notice payments. Notice ID 7001 and the tax year of the school district tax non-remittance billing notice. Official Payments charges a 2.5% convenience fee of the payment amount that you are submitting or a $1 service charge, whichever is greater. Official Payments will provide a confirmation number, so have a pen and paper available. You will receive a confirmation number once you have completed the payment process, regardless of whether you submit a payment over the phone or through the website. The interactive notice provides a link to easily navigate you to the individual tax payments by credit card or electronic check section of our website. You may also get there by going to tax.ohio.gov and clicking on the Make a Payment option under the Filing and Payment Options heading. The next paragraph explains that the Ohio Department of Taxation is not authorized to set up a formal payment plan. We do encourage you to make partial payments and will apply those to the balance due. You are able to make partial payments using any of the methods already described such as sending it with a voucher, making a payment over the phone, or online through our website or official payments. Partial payments, however, will not stop the billing process. Even though you may be faithfully making partial payments on your balance due, it is still eligible to become an assessment and to be turned over to the Attorney General's Office for collection after the date given to make full payment. The notice cites the specific Ohio Revised Code sections applicable to charging interest and penalties on taxes owed and describes briefly how the tax rates are calculated. For more information on the laws, tax rates, and calculations, visit tax.ohio.gov where you can read the Ohio Revised Code and find tax rates and more information on penalties and interest charged. You will find direct links to this information on the interactive notice available in our self-help library. The final paragraph on the notice provides you with the chapter of the Ohio Revised Code that allows school districts to levy school district income tax. You will find easy access to a link to this chapter on the interactive notice. This concludes the school district tax non-remittance billing notice information guide. Should you have any other questions, visit tax.ohio.gov or call us at 1-888-405-4091. Thank you.